Hey Feed Feed community, it's Joanne from The Korean Vegan and today I am going to show you how to make pat bingsu, a traditional Korean shaved ice dessert using pat red beans. I know they're really really but good. Before we get started I wanted to thank the Feed Feed for introducing me to all of you and for giving me the chance to share one of my favorite desserts growing up with all of you guys. All right, okay, let's get started. So this is a shaved ice dessert, which means we're gonna need some shaved ice. I've got here a bowl of ice, and I've got here my Vitamix. You can also use a food processor or a high power. So before you actually put anything in the blender, you're gonna wanna turn it on. So you've got the blender going on, and then you're gonna add the ice cubes one by one. And before you know it, you're gonna have a whole bunch of shaved ice. Isn't that cool? It's such an easy way to do this. You don't need to buy a special machine. So I'm just gonna pour it out into this bowl here. All right, so we've got this beautiful bowl of shaved ice, and to it I'm gonna add a little bit of non-dairy condensed milk, which I made at home by using soy milk and a little bit of maple syrup and fresh vanilla beans. For a little bit of color, I added some hibiscus tea that I cold brewed last night with my fridge. There we go. How gorgeous does that look already? And then of course the star ingredient of this dessert, which is the pot or the red beans. These are sweet red beans and I swear to God, Basically every major dessert in Korea has got a little bit of this stuff in Just it. Just a word about pat bingsu. Uh, like I said, this is sweet red bean paste. You can actually find some on Amazon and at any local Asian grocery store. You get them by the can and try not to eat them out of the can. <laughs> and then we're gonna add just some fresh fruit. I have some blackberries here, which I recently discovered is probably the healthiest of all the berries. Also going to just add some blueberries and strawberries. There we go. And only because cherries are freaking amazing right now, I'm adding a few pitted cherries to our pot bingsu. I mean, really, you can add whatever fruit you like. That's kind of the beauty of this dessert. And there you have it a healthy, delicious, incredibly refreshing dessert for a hot summer day. When you really don't want something as heavy as a smoothie, this is the way to go. How simple is that? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to dig into my pat bingsu. Believe it or not, I could eat this whole thing, like probably in 10 minutes. I hope you guys have a great day and a happy summer, all right? See you later. Heaven, I'm in heaven.